Thank you, Roger. Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we welcome back John Gelvin. John has been searching the country for the next track winner to race in the colours of Fortuna Limited. It has great black type in its name and it's called Prince Henry. Welcome back to John Gelvin. It's great to be back, Gerard. Great to be Good back. To see you, John. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, we've had a bit of a recess, haven't we? You sold completely out of Yes, what, we did. Which was, and thanks to the beat goes on. Yeah, a lot of beat goes on as came and t uh, took shares in those horses that we were marketing during the early part of this year. And uh, so once, once you've actually sold out, then you've got to start looking for new horses, don't Correct. you? Correct. But what's happened since you've been away, John? Uh, of course, your whole business is taking them to the races and winning races. So Correct. bring us up to date. We had great success in Singapore just recently with uh, a horse called Manny Pacquiao, who's named after the Filipino boxer. And of course, last week you had our good friend Bob Jones on talking about his new book. And I'm sure we can borrow a lexicon from, uh, <laughs> or a phrase from his book, um, because Manny Pacquiao really delivered a knockout blow in Singapore recently. Yeah, yeah. Lingered at the back and then comes into the final straight and uh, wins the race. What a feeling that is. Yes, what we've got to look for is the, uh, the tangerine colours, mm -hmm. a horse near the back of the field as they turn into the straight, the tangerine colours and the number 11 saddlecloth. So look out for number 11, it's Take down the bottom of the screen and, uh, of Coon, and enjoy. Now. Manny Pacquiao and then came Benji's now. ruler. For home they come, Anna Villa up on the outside of Angry Cat, followed by Pacino, take it home. Trying to plot a passage is Marira with Ferretti, he gets the split, he comes home strongly. King of Coon, Manny Pacquiao are down the outside, Pacino reaches the lead, down the outside, take it home. Manny Pacquiao, Ferretti not finishing it off, Angry Cat over on the inside, Pacino is the leader, coming at him is Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao and Pacino, they hit it tight. Pacino might have got home, but it's very tight. Manny Pacquiao, Willie Tarn thinks he's got it on the outside, so it's a close uh, photo for any close up and another one. With now, I have to tell you, you and your viewers, Jared, that there's not many greater thrills than that as, yeah. a, as a, an owner or a member of one of our syndicates to win a race like that, oh. to be right back in the field and to win by a nose is just, <laughs> just amazing. Ah, oh, look, yeah. I mean, they must have thought they must have thought toward most of the race that that horse had no chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and a great price on the tote. He paid $24 to win. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And what would he have earned at this in Singapore? Uh, he, that race he earned um, about 28000 for winning. 28, and yeah. he's now won about 50000 in Singapore. Well, John, before we go any further, people are saying, uh, what's this all about? It's all about Fortuna, the syndication that you have. Tell us a little bit about Fortuna and how you got into it. Sure. Well, Fortuna is uh, Fortuna Limited, my company. I'm the director of that. Is uh, a thoroughbred syndication company. So what we do is we buy uh, either from horse sales or from private owners horses that we think can be really competitive racehorses. And our horses are trained here in New Zealand by Jason Bridgman at Tiakao Racing, who's one of the leading trainers in New Zealand, and in Singapore by Mark Walker, who was for five out of seven years the champion trainer here in New Zealand, and now going great guns in Singapore as well. Once we select these horses, then we package them up into what we call a syndicate, and sell shares in that syndicate to members of the public and often we'll finish up with anything between say 15 and 25 owners in any one horse. It's a great way of sharing the costs. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but sharing the thrill. Yes. So, uh, Ah, you can just imagine it. And you get to meet new friends that you're, you're all part of, a, you're on a quest. It's like the America's Cup, of course. You know, yes. you, there's your boat, there's your horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of camaraderie. Whenever we race in New Zealand, we always try and organise a, a meeting place or a, 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 a room or a, a table so for us all to get, get together, together. Yeah. and uh, have a lot of fun as a result. Now, John, you're, you're back on the show. Uh, as we said right at the beginning, uh, you stopped coming on the show because of the success of selling these horses, but you found a brand new horse. Yes, we have. Uh, you've been out looking. Where did you find this horse that you think's got great potential? Okay, he became available to us through a, a, a private sale. It, uh, it wasn't a horse that went through the sales ring, mm. but we were looking for a horse and uh, the, the vendors were looking uh, to take this horse to the ready-to-run sale, but we managed to persuade them to sell it to us instead and I've called this horse Prince Henry. He's a two-year-old, he's a male horse but he's a gelding. Uh, in other words he's been castrated and that's most male horses get gelded um, as they approach their racing careers. 
This horse has a fantastic pedigree. Yeah, let's look at the pedigree. Yeah. Because uh, you, wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't buy anything unless it had great black, what they call black type. Correct. So what was Dad? Who was Dad? Okay, Dad is Henry the Navigator. Henry the Navigator. Now, in the UK where he raced as a three-year-old, he won four Group 1 races in a row. Wow. He won the English 2,000 guineas. He won the Irish 2,000 guineas. He won the St. James Palace Stakes and the Sussex Stakes. Now, for anyone that knows anything about racing in the UK, they are four of the biggest races on the on the programme. And to win one Group 1 race is an achievement, but to win four... Yes. So the dad of Prince Henry has won four Group 1 races in England. The, t- the toughest race yes. track in the world, isn't it? Indeed, yeah. indeed, indeed. Very high standard of horses. Um, and on the dam side, he's uh, out of a mare called Ocean of Tears. Ocean of Tears. And she's a half-sister to three horses who have raced in Australia and who have all earned black type. Black type means oh. the highest level of races. Okay. Uh, so they've either won or been placed in black type races in Australia. So there's a lot going on in his pedigree. So you went, you looked at them and you went, got to have this horse, got to have it. Now, uh, how, how are you going to package this particular horse? Okay, well, um, a 10% share in this horse yes. is $11,800. Yep. Now that includes all initial costs. That's the cost of the horse, it's the GST, it's insurance paid right through to the end of January 2015. The promoter's fees, um, we have $13,000 of cash reserves in the syndicate bank account. Mm. So the syndicate has been very well capitalised. Mm. We'll do a 5% share for half of that, okay. so, so that's $5,900, Yep. and uh, we'll also do a 2.5% share for okay. $2,950. And then ongoing, which start in October, yep. is 300 a month for a 10% share, yep. uh, 150 for a 5% share, and 75 for a 2.5% yep. share. And that covers all of the ongoing costs, the training and the, the vet fees and transportation, that type of thing. Now, John, there's a stampede happening in New Zealand at the moment. People running to the phone to give you a call, but they don't have a telephone number, so what are they going to call? <laughs> OK, two numbers to call me on. The uh, way to get me directly is 021-921-460. 60, but there is an 0800 Correct. Number. 0800 mm. 100 100 667 that's yep. correct Great. and that's a 24 7 number and of course people can also visit our website yes uh, yeah let's have the website dub dub fortuna dash nz dot com well john good to see you once again and uh depending on sales we'll be we'll be hearing from you again either next in the next two weeks or next month so correct because yeah. we've got the melbourne cup coming along and just in six weeks time yeah. and uh, i'm very keen to uh give a betting system for yeah, the melbourne why don't we cup do that? yeah, yeah we okay. had a, we had one of our viewers one of the viewers from this show last year and uh 12, almost $13,000 through wow. following our system. Okay, John, so uh, we'll see you very soon, either with the horse or the Melbourne Cup. Indeed. Thanks, John.